guys, this will be an update video on basically everything. Uh, I got a lot of stuff today, uh, which I'll be sharing with you guys. And let's get started. So, I got some pothos. I got four uh, things of them, and <laughs> that's all they had. Uh, so, they're currently out of pothos right now, but they're a pretty good deal. Uh, so, I just went ahead and got the stuff they had. And Pothos is really hardy, so it, it's really good for a lot of those humid vivariums. Uh, so, yeah, I could use some for the future edition as well. Moving on, uh, I went ahead and got uh, two big things of driftwood. Uh, the one on the right will be the one I'll be using in the vivarium build that I'm about to show you soon. And the one on the left is uh, for a future edition. It won't come in handy for now, but I'll just keep it. Uh, and I also got some willow moss. Um, I think you also call it uh, java moss in some countries. Uh, I don't really know if they're the same kind of moss, but either way, they're really hardy and tough. Uh, really good species of moss for damp places. Uh, finally, uh, the main pickups I got two uh, swordtail newts. Um, these guys are amazing. Uh, I had one a couple years ago and it passed away. I think I had too much water, uh, but this time I'm going to make a vivarium that's fit for them, like how a lot of Japanese breeders do, and see if that goes well. Um, also, my big bronze gecko, Zella, has passed away. I had him for a year or two, and um, I got him from a pet store. I'm only getting animals from breeders from now on. Uh, this guy was pretty old when I got him, but yeah, he was a really good gecko. Anyway, rest in peace, pal. I really liked him. Uh, he was a really cool gecko. Uh, here's one of my fire belly news just swimming. I thought this was cute. Uh, Stripey, I think I forgot something for you. Something you really like, but I didn't get it at the pet store. Oh, I can't think of what it was. Oh yeah, crickets. <laughs> I forgot to get you some crickets, man. Next time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, here are my nudes again. I'm just going to show you, or let you guys have a better look of them. Uh, I won't talk throughout the whole video anyway, so um, here's one of the females. Uh, this one has a lot more gold uh, patterns on its uh, back and some black spots on its belly. Uh, it's not as big as the other female, but it's pretty cute, and I figured I might get one that has a lot of gold patterns on its back. So, this is the first female that I got. And this here is my uh, larger female uh, that I got. It's got a red stripe going through its back, and it doesn't have as many uh, black spots going through its belly. Uh, but if you, I think that that's the cute part of this one, and it's got a really derpy face. Uh, it's really cute. Um, and I really like fat newts, so, you know, I just got attached with this little fella, and I got this. Uh, both are females, I'm not thinking to breed them anytime soon, but I'm just gonna put them in the tank. Uh, let me know what you think of the tank. This is how a lot of Japanese breeders keep them, with pothos, java moss, and 
wa uh, water section with also some land. Uh, they don't tend to swim as much as uh, ja the Japanese firebelly newts, so uh, there's not as much as water as the firebelly other firebelly newt tank that I have. Uh, here's my leopard gecko stripey doing good as usual. Um, just the usual look of the tank and stripey. And here's a an empty exoterra vivarium, which I'll be using for my future editions. It's gonna be empty till June, uh, which sucks because I really don't like empty vivariums. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty big one. Uh, going down below, we've got my Gigi Skink Malcolm. Uh, he's growing really big and fat real fast. Um, he's starting to tame down, uh, and that's a good sign. So, moving on, here's my white tree frog. Um, just chilling in his little water bowl as usual. Uh, nothing changed in his vivarium. And there's the firebelly newt tank that I was talking about. It's got way more water, but these guys are more aquatic compared to the uh, sword tail newts. Uh, but I will be adding more water to their tank, but just for now, it's not that much. And my eastern tiger salamander tank, which the glass a little, a little. Uh, dirty, so I need to wipe that. Here's my bearded dragon, Fudujan, uh, in his huge tank. And my AFT in its little smaller tank. I moved in, but I mean, these guys don't really care if it's the tank is smaller or not, really. They don't really move that much. Um, here's my Madagascan spiny tailed iguana and his awesome tail. Okay, so this here is my Tokyo Salamander Vivarium. Uh, he's right around there under the small driftwood, poking his head out. Uh, he's growing quite a bit, and that's a good sign. He, I can't wait for him to be full grown. Uh, the Vivarium itself is doing fantastic. The plants and moss are doing great. Moving on, here's my Marble Newt Vivarium. Uh, he's hiding around the water plant section somewhere and uh, these plants are doing great the moss is doing awesome and yeah it's holding up pretty well uh, here's another empty exoterra i can't wait to put some animal in this uh, it's gonna be awesome i'm thinking of some sort of arboreal reptile or amphibian such as the frog or a gecko uh, anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, it really sucks about my bit bronze gecko, but what happens, happens, and I have to move on, but he has a really awesome gecko, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.